So I've been doing my nails at home just because it's so easy and I love glue on nails. So these are the ones I usually use. They're by Kiss. I like the stiletto version. Just like the square version. This is the shorter version. I really like these if you don't like long nails. These are great, but right now, these ones that I have on are actually just this pack of nails. I think there's like 500 different nails in here. So you have all different sizes. I put mine on a week ago. They stay on great. They literally feel like an acrylic. They're not budging at all. Okay, so what I did was I sized out my nails. I will be honest, I'm running out of some of the sizes as you can see that I would need. So I kind of had to work with what I got. But now we're gonna glue these on and then shape them when they're on the nail. All right guys, let's do our nails. I had to sit at the counter just because I wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing and talk to you at the same time and part of my head is getting caught off. My tripod's not tall enough, sorry. I really love these little nail glues that come with the other pack of nails that I showed you guys earlier, like the already done nails. Put a small dot of glue on the nail. Not that you can see up close, but just know that's exactly what I just did. Then I do a little bit on my real nail, my fingernail. I put it on, but I kind of wiggle it back and forth and then hold it down so that way you don't get a bubble underneath. And while I hold it there for a second, a little bit of the glue comes out at the bottom. Wipe that glue off, baby. Hold it down. Oh, this one has a little bubble on accident. Oopsies, that's okay. It happens. The bubble underneath only bothers me if I'm doing like a more natural color nail. Then that's annoying, but we're gonna do a color today. <gasps> me? A colored nail? I know, that's interesting, because I always do like a nude or like a baby pink. I glued it crooked. Can you guys see? <laughs> Thumbs up. Okay, one hand, done. Thumbs up. Now what I'm gonna do is, before I do my next hand, I am just gonna shape them. And you can shape them in any shape that you want. Okay, you guys, here, look at my self-tan hands. Oh my gosh, don't even. Here's some shapes. See, some of them have some bubbles, but it doesn't matter, okay? Here's a shape, did a little bit of square, kind of, but like this. These are them before, these are them after they're shaped. I'm gonna shape these babies, and then we're gonna get to painting. All right, you guys, now that my nails are done and shaped, we're just gonna paint them, and I'm gonna do this red. This is from OPI in the shade. No stopping me now. That's what this is called? No stopping me now? Why did I think it was called something else? Anyways, I never do colors. Oh my gosh, you guys are nervous. This is like an orangey red, which I think is perfect for like spring and summertime. Oh, these are so cute. I saw them in the mirror. Wait, you guys, I'm not kidding. I have to look at myself in the mirror. Are you kidding me? Okay, wait. I need to top coat these. You guys, I did a top coat on these babies. <gasps> what do we think? These are cute. Ooh, I never, I literally. Who, me? You looking at me? Look at how cute Ellie looks today. She looks so cute. This is my new tree. This is my new tree that I have. This is my cool wall that I have right here. I can't believe these are my hands. They're so fun. I feel like a little girl who just like did her nails for the first time. Can you still see me? That's how I do my nails, guys. It's so easy. I literally just do glue-ons. Easy. I hope I answered all your questions on how to do your own freaking nails. I can't get over them. I will put links below for you guys for my favorite nails, and if you want them, you can get them. Make some pop. Shoot. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna make some pasta. This pasta, it's like made of veggies, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it cooks weird. So, I don't love it, but I want pasta, and this is what I have. My dinner, I totally forgot uh, to show you when it was cute. So this is my dinner. Made pasta that was made of veggies. I'm not gonna say the brand just because I didn't love it, so I just wanna be kind. Then I cooked some kale and I used some lemon pepper on top of it. Oh my God, Ellie, get down. Then I chopped up some tomato. Girl, get down. I chopped up some tomatoes. I was just craving veggies. So everything on this plate is veggies and it's delicious and good. Good to go. Pasta isn't my favorite, but I'll still eat it. I can still eat it, it's still edible, but. Hell yeah, girl. Made my bed every morning. Ellie comes and sits right there and just waits. Hey baby, you excited? Oh, what, what? 
my friend's trying to FaceTime me. But you guys, I have to tell you, Lauren Elizabeth's podcast is one of my favorites, and she's doing this one with JC Marie Smith. Love her. Go listen. Literally, you need to go listen. I'm doing my laundry. I just folded my laundry, putting it away. Need to hang up that bra. But yeah, just saying, JC Marie Smith is amazing. Love Lauren Elizabeth. Yay. But now, also, if you see some redness around my nose, just don't mind that. I am supposed to be trying out this new skincare to hopefully get this taken care of. I've always been told it's because of hormones. I don't know if that's true or not. So I'm gonna see if we can get that taken care of. But now that I finished my laundry, Ellie is jumping around everywhere. Okay, of course, right when I say that, she lays down. That I'll be filming today that I'm very excited about. So now, one of them is for um, some outfits. That'll be up on Saturday, so just a few days for you guys. I'm actually going to take my rack with me. This is how I do it, okay? I always leave this rack out here with these on it, only because I have no other place to put this rack, and so I just put it over there where there's nothing. Might as well put something pretty on it, right? So, we're gonna room, take this into my room, and then we're gonna plan out the outfits on this rack so they're all laid out perfectly. You guys have seen in my videos, I'll do the outfits like this. I put the shoes down here, and I even add accessories to each outfit as well. Hang my backpack, anything else I need, and boom, good to go. So now, we are going to get to planning. Smarter for me to use my big camera for this, but I need to save that to film actual like other videos today. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna start cutting like down here. I obviously don't want the shorts to be this long, but I'd rather cut it too long at first and then work my way up than have them too short. So I know some of you are probably dying at me right now. Is this even above the knee? I like can't tell. These are really nice jeans too, so I hope these turn into nice shorts. These look like long ass mom shorts, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna go like this, so that way I kind of have an idea of where to cut. I mean, like I said, they're not gonna be this long, but just to have, you know. Yeah, okay. What the fuck? Okay, let me, f hold on. Let's cut these shorter. I can't even, I don't even wanna try these on. I I can't, okay. I know, I know that the longer shorts are kind of a vibe for some people, but I can tell you right now, hell nah, not for me, sorry. I just am not. I have made so many different types of jean shorts or just had taken jeans and roughed them up and made them ripped and what is the other word for it? Like not destroyed, but distressed. It's like one of my favorite things. Okay, and I have to remember too that they're looking extra long because these are high-waisted, so. The reason why I'm even doing this, by the way, is because I want to be able to use these in the style video I'm doing today because I don't have like any jean shorts that I'm in love with that really fit me good. I have a few pairs, but they just don't fit correctly and I really need to go jean short shopping, but you can't do that during lockdown, so. Like this, which this style is cute on some people. I just don't love it on me. I feel like I look like someone's mom and I don't want to look like that. Juicy booty, okay. We'll figure something out. I actually need to shower because of the time but we're gonna figure the rest of these out later. I took off my red nail polish. It didn't even last me a full 24 hours. Ugh. I just, it's just not me. So I'm gonna paint these either tonight or tomorrow, but yeah, I know, update. Is anyone surprised? No, now I have three videos to edit. Yeah, but let's go for a night walk. Let's go. You wanna go for a walk, sis? Okay guys, I'm just editing this video and I'm gonna end it here because you know what? This was really what my day was. I didn't finish doing those DIY shorts. They just turned out like that. So I'll let you know how those turn out in the next vlog or not the next vlog, in a video on Instagram. I'll let you know on Instagram, follow me there. I just finished FaceTiming with my mom. It's 8 p.m. 8.08 p.m. and I need to edit this video so you can get it tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed, I hope it I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I answered your questions on my nails, took you through a little bit of my day. Today was just a really busy day. I filmed three videos today, and Ellie's just doing this now. Oh, my feet are in the shot. Okay. And Ellie's just doing this now. What? It's okay. She's tearing apart the ball I got her. Um, let me know if I should paint my nails nude or baby pink. Let me know in the comments below, because I'm going to wait till 
you guys tell me in the comments. Anyway, I love you so much. Have a great evening, and I will see you in the next video on Saturday. Bye, guys.